but yeah, really paying attention to ingredients is important for us. And then like a lot of cooking is a big part of, I guess, a vegan lifestyle. Hi, Women's Health. I'm Leslie Ann Brunt. And today I'm going to give you a peek inside my fridge. Keeping my fridge organized is very important. It's typically condiments at the top so that I know exactly where I'm getting my hummus and my jam. Vegetables are definitely at the bottom. This row is typically for drinks. I think when you see what is in the fridge and it's neatly organized, then you it's easier to meal prep. And I'm kind of methodical about that. On the drink shelf, there's typically a bottle of champagne. My husband is a big wine connoisseur and we have some white wine in here. Always in my fridge, you will find Chobani oat milk, extra creamy, none of the plain stuff. We are a vegan household. Um, for the most part, my son does have some cheese and eggs. Mykonos cultured vegan butter which I love to cook with, and my son loves to have that on a bagel. Always, always, always have some Erewhon lentil soup. It's just really delicious and a, a nice, easy snack. I am South African, so Amarilla cream. Not vegan though, but this is always here. We are huge veggie consumers, so right outside the kitchen window, we are growing our own eggplants and we just harvested these so I'm probably gonna bread them, fry them up, we can make eggplant burgers, do some eggplant lasagna, yogurt as you can see, it's a strawberry rhubarb, coconut um, cultured organic yogurt. The Forager is my, my son's um, brands but yeah I would say those are my favorite snacks. The weirdest thing in my fridge that has been here for months, I got it in a gift box I don't know what it is, I don't drink ale, but it's Frogtown Brewery Kinky Blonde Ale. <laughs> so being vegan, we typically try and always eat mostly vegetables in our meals. We tend to not really do a lot of the substitutes, but we love uh, Impossible Burger like anyone else. You will never find meat in my fridge or a soda. Um, I don't think I've had a soda since I was maybe like 14 years old. Being an actress and being on Lucifer, which for my character is very stunt heavy, very active, fuel is a big part of obviously my life. I typically don't eat what they um, serve us on set. I would either meal prep or right now, if you guys want to have a look, I have got a meal delivery service. It's a vegan called Sakara and it just makes my life a lot easier for me. I know exactly what I'm eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have a vast array of cookbooks, which you cannot see here, but it's everything from Indian. I cook a lot of my mother's like South African curries to um, one of my favorite books is um, a book called Jerusalem, and it's got like beautiful Israeli food, Middle Eastern food. I love Mexican, the vegan cuisine book. Typically what will happen is on a Sunday, I will go through whatever I wanna cook, and then I just kind of meal plan so that I know I have everything I, I need in the fridge. Sometimes a little crazy, I will pre-chop things so that it's ready for the night uh, because I'm so busy, uh, you know, it, it helps me to be organized. We are a leftover family. What you will find, which you can't see right now, is a very organized Lazy Susan. So last night was actually a little bit of a cheat night. Um, my son just started a, a new school and so we had some omami burgers and there is leftover tots in there. Not very likely, it typically gets uh, clean out sort of once every week and a half. But we're buying everything so fresh and organic that it, we use it basically as we're, we're going and because we cook a lot, we go through a lot of stuff, so not very likely. Not to say that I haven't seen some science experiments in this fridge before, not gonna lie. You know, COVID uh, got the best of me. Well, thanks so much for seeing what's in my fridge. Make sure that you subscribe to Women's Health and be sure to check out Lucifer, the new season, season six, the final season on Netflix.